Hello and welcome to Community Health Journal. We begin today with a look inside the heart, specifically the electrical makeup and what happens when something goes wrong with it. A doctor called an electrophysiology cardiologist has moved to the Tri-Cities to bring his expertise in caring for people who suffer from irregular or abnormal heartbeats. It's a problem that can be treated with medications, but when it can't, comes the need for invasive action. It's a Monday afternoon in the electrophysiology suite at Cadillac Regional Medical Center. EP cardiologist James Canneller and his team are in the early stages of treating a 53-year-old man's heart that has been plagued by atrial fibrillation. AFib, as it's called, is an irregular or rapid heartbeat which can cause complications. This gentleman had actually, with his wife, come to Spokane on a number of occasions for clinic follow-up visits. And during that time period, we've been trying to tight adjust medications, try new medications to control the atrial fibrillation. And we've not been successful, sufficiently successful, which leads us to believe the next best option for him is an actual procedure. Dr. Kaneller has based his practice in Spokane, but recently moved to the Tri-Cities to meet the high demand for his expertise. He brings with him the ability to do more invasive treatment for AFib, such as ablation, where Canella and his team use catheters to repair the abnormal heart rhythms. We have a state-of-the-art laboratory. This is the absolute latest technology available in our field today. And um, we're set up and have a very mature program right out of the gates. This world-class three-dimensional mapping system uses precise technology that records everywhere the catheter moves within the heart. This allows Dr. Canella and his team to know exactly where to deliver the electrical impulse. As our operator moves the catheter throughout the left atrial chamber, uh, the computer mapping system, CARDO, will localize exactly where that catheter has been to half a millimeter. And it recreates the shape of the chamber as the catheter outlines um, the borders of the chamber. What we've created here, or are in the process of creating, is what we call a 3D electroanatomic map of the heart chamber. The gray blob that we see on the computer screen is the computer memorizing every position that the catheter has been in uh, within that heart chamber. So the patient is suspended in a magnetic field which can triangulate and localize the position of that catheter. So this is our catheter with the magnetic tip and the gray blob is the heart chamber that catheter has created. So as this process develops we start to see the key structures that we will need for our ablation procedure unfolding. Uh, we have the left pulmonary veins here, upper and lower on this side. These are the beginnings of the right pulmonary veins. On the other side, we see the left atrial appendage structure. And as we continue to move that catheter very carefully, we record all of this important geometry. This for, procedure lasts? Four to six hours. Wow. Yeah, depending. Yeah, yeah. Depending. And what will his recovery be like? We expect him to walk out of hospital feeling well tomorrow. <laughs> so we. From his perspective, we perform under general anesthesia. So uh -huh. the first thing he knows is that he goes to sleep. Right. The next thing he knows is that it's all over and we're saying it's, we're telling him it's done. And then over the course of the evening, um, the catheters will come out, he'll go back on his regular medications, he'll start to eat again. And by tomorrow morning, we expect him to be, to be ready to walk out of hospital. Dr. Kaneller's practice is already very busy. It's a new service available in the Tri-Cities area full time. And Kaneller is thrilled to be here. So our goal here is to improve quality of life. When these arrhythmias bother you enough and we can't control them in any other way, uh, this is the best therapy and very effective. We have a very mature ablation program here already. We have technical staff that we've brought in to help run the program, run the lab, who have decades of experience and are, and are just excellent. So our lab brings all of that. We have the latest recording, mapping, and ablation systems that are available in the industry today. Cadillac's made a, a tremendous investment to bring a world-class program, and I really am convinced that's what we have to offer. Our thanks to Dr. Kaneller, the crew, and his patient for allowing us and you to watch this new procedure take place.